everybody, this is Joe with Speedway Motors Tech Talk, and today we're going to talk about LS swap radiators, and in particular, how to do an LS swap radiator on a budget. Now, we're here working on our 68 C10 truck project, and we've already done our LS swap into the chassis. This is a 5.3 out of a truck. And we were looking at direct fit options from DeWitt's and AFCO, and they're beautiful. They're bolt right into the chassis. They're available for lots of different applications. They have the outlets in the right place for an LS swap. They have the fittings for the steam lines. They're really works of art. But we're trying to do this on a budget. And so what we found was this Speedway Motors Universal Radiator Kit, which uses a universal double pass radiator and a few little hacks to allow us to use this with our LS swap, and it's gonna save us a lot of money. All right, the first thing you need to do is figure out what universal radiator most closely fits your car. And we happen to have on the Speedway Motors website a, a great sort of chart that shows what a lot of these radiators will most closely approximate as far as a direct fit. For our 68C10, we found that a 31-inch wide radiator was the closest to stock. And what we found as we kind of mocked this up before is that it is a little bit taller than the original radiator. And so since we're just mocking this up while the body is at the body shop, we crudely modified one of the stock mounting straps to just kind of hold it in place and allow us to figure out everything else. We will, when we're into final assembly, figure out a more elegant solution to support the top. And that's just one of the things that you're gonna find when it comes time to do a universal radiator in your car. It might not fit as well as the direct fit, and you know that's really where the compromise is made with these universal radiators. So one piece of magic that we found that's included in this kit that makes this universal radiator an option for an LS swap is this LS swap hose adapter. And what this thing does is it takes the inch and a quarter diameter hose that comes off the upper outlet on the LS water pump and adapts it out to the inch and a half outlet that's on the top of this radiator. And it also solves another problem for us. It's got this extra port on here for a steam line. So we have our steam line port coming off of the front of the cylinder head and this gives us a nice, neat place to route that steam line to. And to tie all this together, we're using these silicone hose pieces, and we have these available in 45, 90 straight to, to allow all of this to adapt together. All right, with the upper hose mocked up, we're gonna move on to the lower. And we're looking at a similar situation here. Our thermostat housing has an inch and a half diameter, and the lower outlet in the radiator has an inch and three quarter. So again, another adapter is gonna help us out here. We've got another 45 that we've cut down, and then, an, and then a straight. This is gonna obviously gonna be different depending on what your application is, which combination of hoses you use, but the right diameter, getting to the right diameter, these adapters are gonna help you out. All right, that pretty much wraps up our mock-up on our C10 project. Really what we wanted to do here was prove to ourselves that we had the right combination of adapters to make this universal radiator work. We wanted to prove to ourselves that this was gonna fit in our core support and kind of get an idea of what we would have to do fabrication wise to make this work when it comes time for final assembly. Obviously when we get there, we're gonna use hose clamps on all the hoses, we're gonna hook up our steam lines, and we're gonna install the double fans on the radiator. But for now, we're content to move forward with this as our option. A uh, direct fit really makes this all easy. It, it saves a lot of time in dealing with the fabrication, you know, remaking these clamps like we're gonna have to do. But again, the trade-off is the cost, and so we're content to move forward with our budget-minded universal radiator. If you're looking to do the same, there's lots of information in the toolbox at speedwaymotors.com to help you out. Thanks to everybody for watching.